classic, how to become a property millionaire. It actually only took me three and a half years to become, on paper, a property millionaire. And if it's something I could do from a kitchen table startup, it is definitely something you can do. We're gonna cover a few different ways, but there's clearly one way that's a winner in order to become a property millionaire. So the first one is profit. For me, I don't do a house these days unless it makes a thousand pound net profit a month because kind of what's the point? I wanna be making big chunks of cash every time I do property. So the types of properties that I'm looking at are either houses that get split into flats and make a lot of money. I'm looking at service accommodation because that makes a lot of money. I'm looking at HMOs, houses, multiple occupation, but very much top ends um, with en suites or I'm looking at very high quality post-grad student accommodation so a thousand pound a month but you're gonna need a lot of thousand pounds before you get to a million so profit is nice ain't gonna get you there super fast but definitely a thousand pound a month the second one is capital growth now to me we all know in Britain that houses go up we're in a small island demand exceeds supply the housing stock has not been replenished we're, we're, we're down by hundreds of thousands of houses so there is only one way, you know, when you, sque when you squeeze a tube of toothpaste, it can only come out one way. There is only one way, a big crisis notwithstanding, that property prices are going and that is up. And we've known that, that's been true for years. So, a classic example, I bought this property discounted. I bought it for 120, but it should have been bought or it was worth, and I got a Rick's valuation, um, of 180,000 at the time. So I already took 60 grand off it because I bought it discounted. Now, only seven years later, it's worth 270,000. How good is that? I bought it for 120, it's more than doubled in value. So capital growth is also another way to become a property millionaire, but it's a buy and hold and wait strategy again you're gonna need a few years before you actually, and quite a lot of property before you make those millions. The best way, and it took me three and a half years. I mean, three and a half, three and a half years is mental. Three and a half years is to buy discounted. So a classic example, I'll just give you my little second property. I bought it for 85,000. I spent 7,800 doing it up and it was worth at the time Rick's valuation 130. So that's about 45 grand equity. Now, how many of them do you need to make a million? Just over 20, so kind of just between 20 and 25 properties. Sue, that sounds like a lot of properties. Yes, but because I bought, refinanced, re refurbed, refinanced, rented out, I could pull all my cash back out and go buy the exact same again. Now, we ended up doing 45 million quid's worth of property at a run rate uh, of about 50 deals a year. And I'm saying you only need 20 to 25 of those and you can put all your cash back out to be a property millionaire. So you can see how it was easy to become a property millionaire within three and a half years. So profit, capital growth, but the key one is sourcing discounted deals. And you need to know those skills beyond belief to become a property millionaire. So straight speaking, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There are tons more videos for you and whap on over to my website thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk i have loads of information for you guys on all things property that you can download straight away good luck to you all right sourcing discounted deals is how you make serious money in property but how do you start free checklist <laughs> click link download now